this diagram, you see the Earth as the green circle, and, uh, and there's a line going through it, which is the geosynchronous satellite ring. That is the ring of satellites. The asteroid orbit will change quite a bit after this uh, close approach. Before uh, this close approach, it, its period around the sun was 366 days, and after this close approach, it will be 317 days. Its orbit actually will shrink a little, its orbit about the sun. It seems that it could make a close approach in the year 2046, but that it, it cannot hit. Its, its orbit is known so accurately that we can project actually um, through most of the 21st century. And right now we're looking at the possibility, very tiny possibility, that it could hit the Earth in the year 2080. I expect that that will go away and we'll, uh, and we'll know that we're safe from this asteroid for a long time. All right. We are 50 seconds away, 49. The clock is counting down. And at that point, in just a few seconds, that is the closest point that BA-14 will be to our planet. To our planet in, in centuries, probably, as far as we know. So it's a, it's a, it, it's a remarkable moment as it passes by, and then, then it will be headed out. Time that we'll be able to see it. Yes, it's going from the far south. Now it's over the equator, and it will be heading straight north and going essentially near the North Pole. So now we will have the polar uh, in the sky, and we'll have a chance to see it from the northern hemisphere now. All right. The counter is zero. It has passed closest approach, and this asteroid is going away. It's on its way out, and possibly spectrum of it, and the radar data will give us essential information on the shape and size and the rotation. What's very interesting is how much information you're getting from hobbyists, from amateurs. The images taken by observatories really are showing the position of each of the asteroid against the star background. And you see there on the right of your screen, right there, is DA-14. It's tracking upwards. Now, Morum Bateman is uh, near, I believe, the southeastern part of Australia. It's outside of Brisbane. And here you see it on his telescope tracking down. And the person who operates this, again, a hobbyist, his name is Jonathan Bradshaw, and he has his telescope right by his house, he tells us. And there you see that one. Coming from the south to the north, it actually gets to within 17,200 miles of the Earth's surface and will pass interior to the geosynchronous satellites and the GPS satellites.